Good afternoon. After a crazy month plus out in the provinces of the Philippines, I am back in Manila. And specifically, I'm back in Makati for the first time in months. So yeah, I just got dropped off here at my hotel called Habitats. It's a boutique hotel. Talk about the pricing and everything, but let's see if I can get checked in here. I am early. I am like uh, two hours early until my check-in. Um, but maybe I can drop my bags or something. So I'm staying near the Rockwell area. Hello. Okay, so 15 minutes and I can check in. And they have this little coffee spot here called Poi Coffee, which looks good. But I'm gonna sit here and wait and then we'll check out the room. All right, guys, I've been informed that I get a welcome drink. Cool little atrium here. So this is called the Habitat Hotel. Extremely affordable. So we'll go over that. And do I have a place to work here? I do. Okay, cool. Okay, so this room is $24 a night. So that is incredible. We've got a little workspace here. Nice big um, mirror. So I got a spot for my bags. The design is interesting. We've got a big TV here. I am thinking, yeah, this is right by the road. It might be a little loud, but that's okay. It's actually off a busy, it's not, it's not off, uh, it's not on a main road. It's on a pretty quiet road. So I'm happy about that. And what's really interesting, I've never experienced this anywhere. This hotel is powered by Alexa. So if you need to ask the front desk anything, you literally use Alexa. So that's kind of sick. Um, home? I don't know. Apparently there's like a, uh, they said, I don't know, they said like, if you need the front desk, you can you can ask Alexa, but I don't know. They said something about like front desk. I don't know. Anyway, for $24 a night, no complaints here. So I've got a little bit of work to do. And then tonight, or in a little bit probably, we're going to go walk around and explore Makati more because I have not spent a lot of time here. And uh, yeah, I'm very close to Rockwell. I'm actually going to be doing a Rockwell video. But uh, yeah, let's go explore Makati. Also, how... How could I forget the uh, bed test? Oh, it's a bit hard. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and see if we can, uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can contact reception with Alexa. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Here's work life with Adam Grant from TuneIn. Resuming the office's rain will- Okay, I don't want that. This is the most unique thing I've seen in, in a uh, hotel. Maybe, I don't know, that's maybe hyperbole, but. Alexa, contact reception. Calling reception. Hi there. May I have two more pillows? No. Hello? Hello there. More pillows? Can I? Uh, two more pillows? Hello, sir. Hello. Your room number, sir. Can I have your room yeah. number, sir? It's 2001. Yes, I can hear you. 2001. Okay, sir. We'll send someone here. Okay, uh, two more pillows. Do you also have a bar of soap? Two zero. Bar. Okay, sir. Think for two pillows and then one bar, correct, sir? Bar of soap, yeah, that would be great. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Something's going on out there. Oh, it's a school. Oh, it's a school across the road. Anyway, as you can tell, it kind of works, kind of doesn't. The internet here is just, that's the problem. The problem is the internet. Yeah, not so good. Eh, budget hotel. 
hopefully I can get my videos out guys. <laughs> Alright guys, well I was told I get a welcome drink, so let's go get a welcome drink. Hello. It's G. Uh, it's a new hotel and uh, reminds me of a place I stay in uh, Ho Chi Minh City, but it's half the price. $24. Can't beat it. I'm using my hotspot to work. Yeah, it is what it is. Hello. I can get a welcome drink over here? Yes. Okay. Thank you. For the welcome drink, we have iced tea. Oh, it's pretty good. All right, guys. So here's this cool little hotel. It is basically right next to uh, Rockwell, which is a place I wanted to check out. And basically over here, this is Poblacion, which is <laughs> it's a fun area, but it's definitely like a I'm gonna be real. It's a, it's a red light district. I did a video on this before. I don't actually spend a lot of time here, but there is a place that I didn't get to go last time I was here called the Filling Station. And this is a 24 seven American diner that has massive burgers, shakes, fries, like a 50s diner. And I feel like, what time is it? It's like 3 p.m. now. I feel like now might be a good time to go before it gets dark. That way I don't have to deal with the other things that happened in Poblacion, but yeah, it's kind of like a nightlife area um, is what I would say. But this is like 15, 10, 15 minute walk outside of that. So it feels a lot better, I would say. The other thing is there's another area here that I didn't get an opportunity to go to last time I was in this Makati area. And that is kind of like below where I am. There's a bunch of like higher end bars like Dr. Wine. You can find Dr. Wine all over the higher end areas in um, Manila. And I think what I'll do is I'll also go check out that area as well. So let's go get like a burger or something crazy at the 24 seven American diner in Poblacion. So yeah, I had a really epic time going around the provinces in Philippines and now I'm back in Manila again here but uh, I've done so much BGC content I've stayed so many days of months actually in BGC that uh, I wanted to come back to Makati it's been a long time and uh, if you don't know Makati is one of actually it's Manila's biggest business district and there are a bunch of different sections of Makati um, I'm kind of closer to Rockwell, which is similar to BGC, actually. Uh, similar to like um, places like, uh, I'm trying to think of the name, in Kazan. Uh, I was just at, oh, Eastwood City. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like a really clean, comfortable place, Rockwell. But then there's Poblacion, which is where I'm walking now. That's like the party life, party district, red light, red light, party district, all of that sort of thing. There's also Greenbelt, which is a very family-friendly part of Makati. And there's Salcido Legazbi Village, which is very, very much like a little New York City business, little Manhattan business district. So that's kind of the overview of Makati. And uh, yeah, I haven't spent much time in this area of Makati. I spent more time over in Greenbelt and Legazbi. But you can see the variety of uh, street food here as you walk around. So, yeah, let's go guys. Now it's starting to spritz a little, starting to rain a bit here. I don't have my umbrella, so better go uh, get myself inside. How's it going, man? How are you? Thank you very much. Now it's early here, but you can kind of see like there are so many bars as you walk around this area. This one's called a Disco Tell. I don't know. Tibuela. Uh, Disco Hotel and yeah so you can see it's definitely very busy here I make sure I know where I'm going oh we don't have the walk sign yet but these people are walking 
Well, I'm kind of, I'm doing a vlog, I'm but uh, doing something yeah, but you're welcome to walk with me. So this guy's also going to the filling station here. Yo, what's, up? So, what's up, man? How are you? So, uh, Melbourne. Yeah, that's good. Australia, nice. Okay. So, guys, this is the filling station here. The guy who said, do you know where the filling station is? And I said, well, I happen to be going there right now. But you can see at night, this this sign lights up and it looks really cool. But uh, yeah, it's like a 50s diner and I'll show you inside here. But you see Hulk Hogan on the wall here. You got this old school gas meter. That's about what gas costs these days per gallon. Pretty crazy. So yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, one please. Uh, one. Yeah. And take a look at this. So you got the cool uh, surfboard here. You come in and, hello, excuse me. You have this classic old school car. You have these uh, gas pumps, these old school gas pumps. And this is called the filling station, so it's themed really well. You got vinyls up on the ceiling here. All these different beaters from all over the world. Amazing. All right, well, I guess I just keep walking. So, oh, look at this. Absolutely unsightly photo. Wow. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, you got the old telephones here on the wall. The good old Elvis. The one, the only. And uh, we got more Elvis here. Hello, good afternoon. Table for one, yes. And uh, I forget what character, Green Lancer, Green Lancer. Got Ronald McDonald's here. All right. And Blues Brothers. Okay. Hello. Afternoon. Oh, look at this. Got this crazy car here. Wow, this is wild. Hello. Oh, and we get to sit next to Darth Vader here. I actually used to have this. It's full of like cards and stuff. It's a board game. But, uh, so look at this. Now, I'm sure I'm hitting some copyright music here, so I might have to stop filming. So you can see the menu has all these old school items like a A&W Coke float, shakes, milkshakes, diner breakfast, all this sort of stuff. Got the crazy burgers here, fried chicken burger, filling station super burger. Wow, wild. Probably get the uh, filling station burger, but you can also get yourself a Sloppy Joe. Classic American cuisine. Cheers. Okay guys, so here it is. You got this massive burger here, wrapped up, old school. Then you got, to my surprise, onion rings, fries, also coleslaw. So let's give it a shot. All right, here's the burger. Mm. so juicy. Try one of these onion rings. Mm. crispy goodness. Some French fries. All right, we got the Colonel here, and uh, yeah, good, good little spot. This is definitely something to do. Thank you. It's definitely something to do here in Manila. You can see all of the cakes and everything. And uh, how do we get? How do we get out of here? Oh, exit that way. All right, thank you. We got kind of like an outdoor bar here. It's like, is this a Cuban? What country is that? Is, that a, is this a Cuban bar? It might be uh, Cuba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cubana, Cafe Cubana. So we got a Cuban bar here. And uh, let's see what else we have. But yeah, this this area is absolutely crazy. Hello. What's your name in your blog? Uh, Zane Travel. What's up, guys? Hi. Hello. Hello. What's up, my love people? Uh, <laughs> thank you. This is uh, definitely a crazy place, guys. And it gets crazier the more you go down here. So here you can play uh, billiards or pool, and you can also get. It looks like hookah here. And then across the street, you have this New Orleans style bar, or New Orleans, New Orleans style bar here, bourbon. And uh, 
even more billiards over there. But for me, I'm gonna go to that other area that has kind of the more upscale bars because uh, yeah, this is about all I wanted to do here. <laughs> ah, so it does look like you can, oh wait, no, that's the Cuban place. Okay, well the filling station is above the Cuban place where I just ate. And uh, yeah, I wish it was dark enough for the, for the sign to be on, but eh, what are you gonna do? I think it's starting to rain a little. Yeah, it's starting to rain, so I think I'll stop by for a drink here and cheers, and then hello. Uh, just one, please. Uh, one sandwich, sir. Uh, how much is the sandwich? Uh, 82, sir. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. it'll stop raining by the time I'm done with the sandwich. Okay, well, the rain has stopped and we can move on. So, one plus of the rain is an extra beer, and you can see the cool sign here. Yeah, nice. All right, let's keep going. It's about uh, six o'clock here. You can see I'm kind of like in the area that has a bunch of bars around here. You can see a bunch of people playing basketball here. And uh, this one's called, I think, Apothecary. Looks pretty cool in there. And uh, yeah, somewhere around here is like Almensa and Dr. Wine. Something like that. Probably still too early. But uh, looks like here's one. So you can play some pool here or something. Pretty cool. But uh, let's see what this one's called Evolution. Yeah, you can play pool here. Nice. Obviously, very empty right now. Hello, how are you? What is this one called? Guilt? Okay, very cool artwork on the outside here. Cool. Get myself situated and then I'll pick a bar and we'll have a drink. And this is kind of the main stretch here. What is this one called? Aquavits or something like that? Nice. Have a look at it here. You can even get yourself a haircut. This is called Hollywood Barbers. Old school, kind of similar to that diner we were in earlier. Nice. I think I'll take a photo for Instagram. If you want to follow me there, also hit subscribe. Most of you are not subscribed. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. Okay, I believe this is Dr. Warren. The other one I wanted to go to is not open. Not a wine guy. Wine is like a whole thing I have not gotten into yet. Maybe one day in my life, but not now. Cool branding here. You can see they have like crazy amount of wine selections. You can get it by the glass. Okay, great. This is the happy hour meet. Okay. Um, and you basically, it's buy one, get one. Okay. So you're able to get two drinks with a price of one. Okay. But the restrictions are, of course, passed to be the same. Yeah. From the previous or from the first alcohol that, that you purchased. And not sure for someone else, but I think it's really awesome. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, thank yes, you, bro. It's from five to seven. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Like I said, this is a really high-end place, so they actually, they don't even have Coronas here. Or, I'm sorry, they don't even have Miguel Lights. But they have Coronas. I have not had a Corona in a long time. But I haven't tried the Encanto honey. Mm. Ah. Let's live a little, let's go Encanto honey. Nice candlelight. Good place. All right, every time I try to get one of these in Gantos, they're always sold out. So let's try the honey ale. Ooh. Oh man, maybe Corona is a better idea, but technically I get two of those. We'll see if I get a second one. I don't know. Very honey taste. Very sweet. I would say definitely on the sweeter end. Well, I'm glad I tried it. All right, well, I'll stay here for an hour and then probably go over to that other area. You know, I've been to the one in uh, BGC. 
Yeah, that's much, much better. Yeah, it's, upstairs. Yeah. Oh, you sorry. Know, you know, upstairs, and they call it, you know, how, how they call it? They call it Pechantorini. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it's a nice place to do. Uh, yeah. Since this area is a community and then a residential area, yeah, no yeah. high rise building here. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. So, what the good thing is, you can have a view with Makati, BBC, Paranyake. Yeah. Okay. Check out the rooftop. Oh wow, okay. Oh, it's raining. Oh, wow. Wow, this is beautiful. Oh, too bad it's raining, guys. So that is Rockwell. I've been seeing this building the whole time, the whole night. And I, again, I will be doing a video on this. I gotta tell you guys, this bar is very busy. Lots of people coming in. Got to be the spot here in town. Very well dressed people. Yeah, this is definitely upper class, I would say. Uh, one beer is about 275 pesos, but I got two for 275 on the happy hour deal. So I don't know what that is. You can you can figure it out. I think that's like seven dollars, six six seven dollars. So pretty high price. It's about American prices, but I would say it's worth it. You saw the rooftop. Really good deal. Okay, guys, let's check out this. Almansen. Okay, do we go up or do we go down? Where, where do we go? I don't know. Let's try here. Oh, I think the other one is uh, more happy. Okay, so nobody was there and they don't have local beers right now. So I think what I'll do is I might try to go back to the rooftop Let's see if that's there. It seems like the only bar that's, uh, that has anything going on right now. But uh, it is Thursday and it's like 7.30. <laughs> so he said 11 is when it gets crazier. I won't be out till 11. Okay, hopefully I can uh, find a spot here. It's quite busy. Hello. Ah, perfect. Probably gonna be the end of the video. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.